I say, I want to never smell the obby on me. Me, me can't come and offer rain. But you want space for your partner supposed to be like your best friend and them something. So just don't skip the eyes. Please don't skip the eyes, okay? <laughs> Wagwan people, so welcome back to another video with Sabrina Brina or Sabrina or whatever. So today I'm gonna try to make it a little bit different. So I'm gonna do a chit chat, get ready with me. I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram and WhatsApp and also Facebook. So I'm gonna be answering those questions. And at the same time, I'm gonna be doing my makeup. Just a simple beat for some cute pictures, nothing extra. So I'm mostly gonna do this in Patswa because I want it to be, I want most of my personality to come out in the video and that is gonna cause my accent or what do you call it dialect to come out more so i hope that you can understand if you don't speak patua but i'm gonna try my best to make it understandable for everyone so when i'm getting ready to go anywhere the first thing that i always do is my hair but my hair is already done so all i'm gonna do is do my edges because i always do my edges i don't know i just feel like my hair looks nicer when i do my edges i use the eco styler so so I just put a little bit, not a lot, on my edges. Then I'm going to take my a very small tooth comb and I just swoop it around a bit. So like this. Alright, so that's basically it and then this is just a piece of cloth that I had when I was making a shirt and it's silky so it's what I use to tie my edges most of the time when I do them so I just tie it down yes it's like I've gotten so used to speaking standard English on camera so it's the parts are not really come out that much so anyways I'm going to wipe my hands first with wipes since as I just used gel taking some wet wipes these are actually flushable wipes All right. I'm going to do my eyebrows I use this you can even use like a regular eyebrow pencil like this one but this one doesn't give me the color that I want so I don't use it so we'll brush it brush the eyebrow like so okay then took a look at time and we draw i draw a line underneath if you haven't seen my eyebrow tutorial go and watch it so draw a line underneath like so my arrows are full so i don't really have to like uh, do a lot i draw one line under the bottom one line at the top and then i kind of fill in the rest like so then i move on to the next one And guys I really don't shave my eyebrows either these are how my, my brows are naturally so it's kind of hard for me to get like an even shape but I try my best use this LA girl pro concealer this is the cha this shade chestnut arm um, should I use since as it's a natural look I'm gonna use espresso because this is closer to my complexion so I use this little angled brush right here all right guys so let's get into the question and answer first question is what are you studying in college okay so for those of you who don't know I'm going to college Claflin University in South Carolina and I'm studying biochemistry and um, so my major is biochemistry and my I'm gonna be minoring in business administration so if you ask me why I'm doing biochemistry I would just say I like science I like bio and I like chemistry more but I didn't want to do a chemistry major so I chose biochemistry and then I'm doing business administration as a minor because I want to know a little bit about business because I'm I have a I have an entrepreneur mindset so I want to have a little background into that field so that's why I decided to minor in 
business administration so that is what i am studying in college so the next question i'm gonna answer the next question because it is college related as well has it been harder for you in classes being a woman of color in your field of study so for me that is not going to be hard the woman of color part because i go to a hbcu if you don't know what a hbcu is it stands for historically black colleges and universities so basically it's it's mostly women and men of color who attend these institutions so it hasn't been challenging at all with classes however um if i didn't go to hbcu i feel like it would have been harder because it tends to be quite difficult for people of color to really connect with um caucasian or you know people who aren't of color but i've been in situations where like when i go on internships for the summer at um pwis pwis are predominantly white institutions so when i go to those institutions the people that i meet there they're always nice and i don't feel any way uncomfortable in the environment or anything the people that you interact with are people who are doing well in their field you can say like like i don't know like i don't know i glass and something there. so you know it's not that hard at all and in the u.s as well you have this thing where they have the minority group so most institutions are kind of vouching for the minority group so when you look at advertisements or um job positions or stuff like that you will see um people in underserved um groups are preferred for these opportunities so i feel like in the in my field it's not going to be that hard at all because um companies institutions they're all wanting to kind of diversify their what do you mean i take too long for one question they want to kind of diversify their what you call it their their population their community or whatever so it's not gonna be that hard but i haven't really had any experiences with challenges so no it has not been hard to answer your question all right so the next question all right me answer the question at the mommy not done my eyebrow well on me have done my eyebrow first before my answer our next question right so i use foundation up here so because as you can see you're not seeing anything it just looks well lying out and all these things so yeah so i have this primer and it's the elf mineral infused primer i think you can't see it but i can't focus it right now it's the elf mineral infused primer you see them pump here them nah go with them don't want to leave next you. question is what is the worst thing you've ever experienced boy me never really experienced nothing bad like like a single event but um if i'm going to answer that question and pick one thing that has, has ever happened to me um recall the worst thing it would be the time when i got burnt so goody she who never used pressure cooker yet took up herself after everybody gone to church one sunday except me and and pork and chicken the day in the pot in the fridge right so me i say oh good opportunity this for make some nice nice thunder dinner we have pork me have chicken yeah mommy and sister them and daddy and everybody you come home come get nice nice dinner me did want everything for done quick because you know church over two o'clock so i want done quickly so what i did was me say all right let me use the pressure cooker because i want to pressure the peas then want to pressure the pork so that it can cook quick right me never use pressure cooker yet in my life but i always my mother use it so me I pressure the peas you now and something all right the peas done pressure so i'm ready for start pressure the pork now so me with myself and i know nothing more pressure cooker now so instead of wait for the pressure cooker for cool down what me took up myself going to me and force the pressure cooker for open and it not open i'm miserable now i'm a very miserable person if you don't know me not see miserable but me miserable bad me start <gasps> why the pressure cooker not open i'm calling my mother she's not answering me because you know she's at church so she, she's not seeing me when i'm calling her and me i get real mad you know because me want to put on 
I want to put on the pork and the pressure cooker now open for me done, for me empty it out. When me check it out, the pressure cooker bust open. Pow! One big load nice. Everything fell up in the air, fly up all over my face, fly over my hand, then my chest, everywhere. And me start scream out loud and me neighbor them ear. But because I'm a very noisy person when I'm at home, like I'm always singing and I make up noise and something. Them never know say it's serious. They hear this word, but the boy will cry a wolf. So yeah, that's a me. But when them check it out, no one hear the ball and I continue. Them say, no man, something wrong. So them come over and I say, see, warm to you, warm to you. Them see me wet up and something, so them realize that something happened. So hear them, where the brown in, where the brown in? And me did they have bun up in me. I say, where them people here ask you for brown in? And they say, them see, say, me just get bun up. So I grab the brown in and me, when me check it out, when, me, when I look, you see them start beard me in the brown in. I say, I want this father. <laughs> Yes, so I uh, get to go to the hospital. Them give me injection and the doctor say it's going to get better. And guess what? It's one month before me to come up here, before me to go to school. So, like, I'm going to come up here in August the 8th, it happened July the 8th. So, I say, oh, I want to smell the obby me. Me, me can't come and offer in. So, yeah, that was the worst experience. But it ended up that it well. Chest mark them still there, but at least the face one them, the face, the face burns weren't that bad anyways yes that's the worst experience next question how do you cope with stress all right so first of all i don't really stress that much i am a person who i don't really let anything but i don't allow things to bother me or mess with my mentality or my mental health that much so what i do is i what me do I don't even know what to say me do, but sing, play some music because as we say, I like to make me love make nice. So me sing or sing and dance and video it and post post it up on my status. Talk to my friends just to just to not have to think about anything that's bothering me. If it's something that I need to get done that's stressing me out, I just make sh I just try to try my best to do it we can't just get it out of the way stress 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 sleep just sleep so that's enough to think about it i'm not someone who really stress out myself i'm i try to keep myself happy at all times so if you know me you know that i'm hardly ever like in a bad mood I'm, most of the times i just i'm just always happy because even if something is bothering me i'm not gonna let it affect my day or affect the people around me so yes next question why i asked them something here all right she said how do you handle a long distance relationship why all right so how you handle a long distance relationship i am not a relationship counselor but what's basically what i would say is that communication is key Communication is everything. You can't in our long distance relationship and when you communicate today and when you communicate tomorrow. Me see people post up things on like Instagram and I say, Oh, I can't talk to my partner every day. I need my space and I need this and I need that. But but you want space for your partner supposed to be like your best friend and them something. There. So you're gonna want to talk to them every day. So that. The makeup now gonna do it because me a focus on too much. So. <laughs> so yes, um, long distance relationship communication is key, and both persons have to be, both persons have to want it. You can't have one side of the relationship want this, and then the other side you yeah, force them to want it. It now gonna work. So the two of them have to in there into it one hundred percent. Me not even know. It's like I'm not even it's not even that hard because it's just like you know, not see the person for a while, but like the mental relationship still there, but not really the physical. The makeup here now will look good. Yes, yeah, so that's how you deal with a long distance relationship, honey. How would you describe how long the video you don't know? Let me wrap it up. How would you describe a good friendship and what do you expect from your inner circle? Alright, so a good friendship is one where there is openness, there is honesty. You don't want no tension. 
like me not have that many friends but i'm glad to say that the few that i have we have a good relationship we know in another whole heap of bag of arguments whole heap of ma malice no we don't have them something if you have because you know say sometimes people are going to do things that you don't like it's in certain occasion so if you are in a good friendship the, if something wrong there's no like yeah hold it up in your chest right yeah you, you feel free for talk it out you're not gonna go and chat this money and say me the camera with she because she this and she that you're not supposed to go behind my back and go and chat me say this if me do something wrong come to me and tell me not gonna tell the other person because if me are your good friend me supposed to can see it and look into what you say and say oh you know something wrong for you or if i feel like i'm not wrong I can say, you know, I have a different opinion and I feel that this is why I am right. The other person will accept the all right, so you say you're right, but me feel say you're wrong. So, we just, me just want you know, say, me never like what you do or something like that. That's only the bad side. So, the good side is someone who will always be there for you when you need them, right? So, if something happened to you now, I mean, I say, Lord God, who me can call for tell? Because it's good to talk about things because it helps you get through it more right and then the other person will never make you feel like say so you're bad at them they're they're there for you then we stop whatever they're doing and they listen to you and help you figure it out or help you to feel better next thing good friend check up on you but in a this day and age me not go count that because i am one who me a bad texter if you know me you know say when i'm ready i hardly answer text check up on part me, me not go say check up on it. somebody who who want good for you somebody where you got share your hand when you start your business or when you get one look to sale if you just start sell something them say girl yes things are going look how many tell us you could have somebody will motivate your girl somebody will motivate you somebody when i say i want to do this but me don't know if this money i go say no girl you can't do it just do it and then anything we can do we help you just do it girl just do it let me start for you let me let me go look if me can research something and see how you can start and then you bet your child start somebody will go push you somebody will when you succeed them say can't get them happy for you them share the moment with you stuff like that I think I take too long for any question here, but yeah, that is what I call a good friend. And who do you ex what do you expect from your inner circle? So what I expect from my inner circle is what I just discussed a while ago. Next question, we're almost done with the look of makeup, but the brush then there. What motivated you to start YouTube? Okay. So if you never know, if you never scroll down, ponder some of my video them from the beginning, you would see that I have had videos posted from 2018. And that is why I don't delete them because I more. Mean, anybody will come from my channel. This sis say I not just know I want to do this. This is something where I want to do from a long time. What motivated me to start YouTube? When I used to go to high school, I was very passionate about my hair. I used to take care of my hair. Like, I used to do everything to my hair. Like, make sure I say it cool. Make sure I say it moisturized. Make sure I say it healthy. Like, my hair always, my hair is always healthy. I noticed that not everybody knows how to take care of their hair and not everybody know how to comb their hair and do a look of something to it and one other thing is that i liked i love to do my own hair i think someone else has braided my hair twice in my life i do my hair myself and i think that that's very fascinating kind of motivated to say oh she can do her hair let me, me try and see if we can do it i know sometimes i want to look at your style and you, you know you can't but i forgot not hear this on them something day so yeah that's what motivated me to start youtube just because i wanted to show me doing hair and outfit take care of your hair and stuff like that so yes hair is what sharing my hair talents in hair is what motivated me to start youtube those are all the questions imagine me put up the sitting for my story about three times and me like the question that we get because they're very constructive questions and they're not like the cliche questions 
um what is your biggest fear and them something them thank you to all who posted questions i appreciate you for interacting with me and guys if i ever oh tell me if you want to see another video like this and if i ever post up again and say ask me a question ask me i'm afraid to ask because i will answer you I'm a very open person and me not a frown upon a question. If me feel like say the question inappropriate, I'm gonna say it. And you must feel no way if me say it inappropriate. But me not feel like I'm gonna ask an inappropriate question. Oh, somebody asked me if me can teach them how to braid. Okay, honey. Yes, I can definitely teach you how to braid. But it's Corona time, so you know say. That not gonna go on right now, but I I'm gonna post a how to plait video soon, or it may be by the time I posted this video, it will be posted already, so you can watch that one, and then I'm also gonna do a how to braid like cornrow. So guys, that is the end of the question and answer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this makeup. Tell me if it's looking all right because I was very distracted throughout me doing this. So I don't think it's gonna be the prim and proper type of makeup. But I'm not a makeup expert, you know, me can't make up that good. So I feel say if you can do makeup, you can follow what I do and you, you end up with something, you see me? Because I don't know how to do them well either. Me it. Me, oh yeah, me do it. I don't know if you do them well if I like contouring and all them something there. We just know how to do a little thing. So, yes, you can definitely follow my steps. Just use a little something. Um, what I use here is the Sasha. And then this is the little contour palette. My good friend Shanique, I recommended it. So that is what I use for, like, I use the dark one for my contour this one right here and then this is what i use for my highlights and this one i put around these areas right here um if you want other if you want to see other videos like this just let me know down below in the comment section you know what tell me you want to see because more make sure to say i give my viewers what they want to see okay if you have not subscribed yet please remember to do so right now Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to click the like button. Comment down below what the favorite part, what your favorite part of this video was. And make sure that you continue to support me. Guys, I'm monetized. Yes, your girl monetize and for those of you who don't know what that mean it mean me get a little money when you know watch my videos so how i get that money is you have to watch the ads so when you see the ads come up don't don't click skip ads if when you see the look around so my go around so don't click skip ads just watch it and that will give me a little two cents it's not a lot of money guys but it's something maybe a five cent or a two cent if you watch the ads so every makeup me come up so just don't skip the ads please don't skip the ads okay so i'm very happy about that because guys we're not done yet wait open watch the whole of the video you know if you watch the whole of the video comment down below so that's me no say me not just say yeah, chat out my mouth and nobody now listen to me anyways so what i wanted to say you guys must set goals right and try to follow your goals because you see at the beginning of quarantine i was like i want to get monetized by the end of july before school start back and if you notice see, i post a video every week because what helps you to get monetized is the amount of time that people watch your videos for you need people to watch your videos for 4,000 hours or 240,000 minutes within the past 12 months so if I upload a video today and I get say 1,000 minutes from it that's um, 1,000 divided by 60 hours so oh well, yes guys everyone got monetized as I was saying set your goals and follow them quarantine is a good for some of you summer isn't over as yet my summer is almost over because school starts within two weeks for those of you who don't start school um until september you have a lot of time so if you want to start a business now is the time to lay down in your bed and go pound and look up what is something there what is something there now is the time for lay down in your bed scroll through go up on your browser how do you find a vendor how do you um collect payments how do you create this poster how do you do this how do you do that everything is on the media guys so i just implore you guys that if you have some goals that you have been working towards for the longest now is the time for you to go 
for those goals and achieve them because see me achieve my goal like i said as a mama for my video and i have other goals as well but me just not gonna say what they are specifically but i have achieved my goals that i have set for the summer so i'm just imploring you guys to do the same thing as well so yes guys i already did my outro so yeah guys thanks for watching and see you next time